One overriding question, are Democrats moving too far to the left? Is the party, as President Trump contends, embracing socialism? Does that make voters nervous? And what does socialism really mean in the 21st century? To some extent, this discussion about socialism versus capitalism is a real distraction. Because pure socialism, right, in its pure form, which is government controlling production, is a terrible idea. And it's the wrong answer to every question. But if you really look at the United States of America historically, we've been a capitalistic country with strong social programs. And that's all we got to do. That's what we got to get back to. I mean, capitalism is the greatest innovation and job creation machine ever. And it is the reason the United States is the strongest nation in the world. But we always, as I said, moderated capitalism, right? Because left to its own devices, it's highly disruptive. We moderated capitalism with appropriate tax policy, right? Make, having a tax code that's fair, appropriate regulations, making sure workers have rights, and by building societal infrastructure. Social security is societal infrastructure. Public education is societal infrastructure. Medicare is societal infrastructure. And what's happened over the last 20 years is we stopped doing that stuff. We've been fighting, we haven't done anything. And so there's been too much disruption caused by kind of capitalism being unchecked, if you will. So my solution is not to get rid of capitalism. That's a terrible idea. And replace it with socialism, that's a disaster. But what we should do is make capitalism more just and inclusive. And the way you do that is with tax policy, regulations, and importantly, societal infrastructure. I think there's a newer generation that didn't live to see the days when socialism and communism were viewed as pretty much the same thing. And you were either for that or you were for capitalism and democracy. I think a newer generation that didn't live through the Cold War is asking about all the times democracy and capitalism come into tension. Uh, I think uh, we're a society that is built by the extraordinary productive power of capitalism. Uh, but you can't have capitalism, in my view, you can't have capitalism work well unless you also have a robust democracy that can cons constrain the excesses of that capitalism. And to me, if, if you want to see what happens when you don't have that, look at Russia. So just as Russia was an a warning sign uh, around a certain kind of, of communism a generation ago, now it shows you exactly what happens when you have uh, private markets but no rule of law. And what happens is cronyism, of course. So labels are going to be thrown around, especially by this president who's, who seems to be on a kick uh, of using this as a way to kind of shut down debate. Uh, and there are others who are embracing the labels. To me, I want to move through the labels and just talk about what works.